And welcome back, guys. We're over here in the hotel, over here in Russ. Uh, so we're going to be doing some building today, hopefully. Uh, make sure you hit the like button, make sure you subscribe button. Let's get into it. So, I set the electrical for this hotel, where it's on a smart switch where I can turn inner lights off and on. This controls all the lights for inside of here. So let me demonstrate. You come in here. Say you purchase a room for the night, hit that lovely button, you have lights in here, right? So let's say someone's spamming the lights and causing lag. I just turn it off. So that's what's going on with this hotel here. I'm going to put a food vendor there, if you're wondering what the hell that is. So we're going to be adding some more stone to the walkways here. Yep. some food growing here. Have to get me some more tarp. Got my car. I got this all set up on smart switches where I can turn it all off if I need to. It's good shit. Now that we're no longer working on the hotel, put this stuff away. I think I'm gonna do buy a house. Or I'll go in there, I'll throw a sleeping bag or something in there. I don't know. I haven't decided how I'm gonna do that, but Regarding these little houses out here, thinking I'm going to do something like that where you go to a vending machine and you can buy a house for a certain amount of either scrap or stone and get one of these for cheap. Or you can get that one back there, it's a little bigger, and things like that. But like I said, it is subject to change. Got these little areas where you can park your car if you have a car. That's one out of many TCs, by the way. So, I've got one, two, three, four. Five, six, uh, seven, eight TCs in zone by zone area. I'm gonna go ahead and stone up this road. Gotta build the commercial district soon. Gotta put lights in over here. I need to get me another small Jenny and put it in there.
this is built. Too close to another building, but uh, I gotta do that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Don't pinch me, the So what am I doing now? I'm creating another grid. What does that mean? It means that... Uh, Here over here, I'll be able to build over here eventually. This unit, I think. You know what? I could put it right next to it, maybe. Mm, no, it has to be attached to the road. Okay. Yeah, I'll just move it. Ship the house over by one. That's what I'm gonna do. And then this, and this, and this, and that. Trying to off center it. Alrighty. So. I don't feel like putting the road there.
what I'm going to do is I'm going to do this. Um, shit, I meant to move it. It's more. Gotta break this TC, which I'm not too happy about. And I'm gonna run over there and fix that one that I intentionally broke. <laughs> Well, by maybe doing it this way, I can put a TC on this going back that way more. But basically, it just does double lapping of tool cabinets. Fix this one that I broke. <laughs> and of course, this one's in deep war. Of course. So, yeah, that's pretty much how I have in order to fix the tool cabinet. Uh, for overlapping because the road's out there so because this one pretty much is pretty damn close to that one over there when I broke that tool cabinet this one over here was covering that zone so yeah it's it's complicated I was surprised to see that this was empty
build a house workshop. Looks like I need to go get some more stone. Is it more the stone? More stone, more stone, more stone. It kills me because there's all this extra space over there. down here for this one. Right. Gotta get me some more gears. I'm gonna plenty of food growing now. This is really good. Yeah, so I'm thinking about doing like buy a house and you have to pay a certain amount of scrap. Probably have it pre furnished or something. As I said, I still gotta hook up electrical to the houses and make it so that you can 
turn kind of like what I have the ha the hotel set up as, where you can turn off the individual power sources, or I could turn it all off in general. find this tool cabinet. I think it's gonna be this one. Yep. Yep, it costs us fourteen thousand a day. Good Lord. So this roadway is mostly designed for cars, not horses. Might be time to separate tool cabinets for this one over here. X2. So I need to get me another vending machine set up. It's going to be called 3x2s.
Hang on, that's a, I'm going to move this to you soon. stuff. get more of an understanding of how much this TCS it costs. Let's get going. If this was a normal server, this would not be possible.
So it drives in. Little house. Well, it goes back four, actually. Got some driveways, which is nice, right? <laughs> I gotta make the other grid more responsible for this area. Give this one a little more personality. I think I'll seal this tool cabinet afterwards because I think we're tapped out on this one.
some twigs somewhere. That tool cam is done. Meaning, and, and it's just best to seal it. I go out for another farm run. Gears, fending machine requires three gears. So we get some of this. Ugh, I need workman's three, which I don't have. Looks like I need to go grind for stuff. Let this finish up and then I'll go out and get. Uh, Take the vehicle. Uh, do, do, do. Yeah, I'll be fine. So, we need to get that vending machine, we need to get it set up. I need to go for another farm run. Yep. 
but you got to see me build a little bit. You got to see what the upkeep is for some of these tool cabinets. That one we just sealed up is bonkers. <laughs> so that means if I'm going to add anything to those buildings, it's going to be like doors and stuff like that. Stuff that's not going to add more maintenance. So that zone's basically done until I add a new TC zone in. That's what I like to do. I like to build up one zone and not add more into it unless I have to. Anyways, make sure to hit the like button, make sure to subscribe button. I'll see you guys in the next video.